Dear Journal, Day one has passed and Tim Hortons has still not noticed me. We will persist and try again today. yesterday for me to get them to try to say hey to me I don't know really what I I'm looking for there but hey just want them to say hi anyways we are here in Red Cliff Alberta pretty much the exact place we ended off yesterday we're in a slightly different spot though let me explain I moved to the fuel aisles this morning so we're not exactly in the same spot, but I woke up in the exact same spot. So don't worry guys, we didn't move in the middle of the night. We didn't roll away. That would be just crazy. Thanks for joining me today, guys. We're going home today. Absolutely. We're gonna be home in, well, 10 hours of driving. So I'm guessing probably with 12 hours I can do it in. We should be home around midnight, I think. We'll see how close my just spur of the moment off the top of my head estimate is tonight, okay? Midnight is when I think we'll be home. Let's go. All right, get this thing lined up properly here. So you guys are looking at me, hello. You guys wanna see me? No, you don't wanna see me? Well, too bad you gotta see me today. Are you guys pointed at me? A little high maybe? Whatever, it'll do. All right, <coughs> we're in gear. Let's give her guys, let's go. Time to go home. These are always the best days. The best days of the whole entire trip is the last day when you know you're going home. It's hot outside. Summer is officially here. Are you guys excited? Welcome to summer. And welcome to winter to my Australian and New Zealand friends. And my South American friends. Welcome, welcome. I don't really feel bad for you down in Australia though because I know your winters are like our summers. So enjoy our summer-like weather throughout your winter. I've really got to like, I've got so many places I want to go and visit in this world. I want to go to England and Scotland on 20 Street, Southeast. and Ireland. Turn right. turn right on one. Talking Mandy. I want to go to Australia and New Zealand. Excuse me, her coming through here. Excuse me. Thank you. Drive 472 to, kilometers on one. I want to go to Brazil, Paraguay. I got some family in Paraguay. You know that? And we might go to visit Mexico City, uh, Central America. I want to go everywhere. I want to go to China. I, I might as well just say I want to go everywhere. I want to travel the world. It's so hard to do when you got so many bills to pay. Bills. They always tie you down. Bills. I am saving up though, slowly, one penny at a time.
because you said, Chuck and Josh, I thought you moved over there so you could take your truck home. You are right, I did. But in winter time, when it's cold out, I leave my truck at the yard because it's locked in there and there's a shop right there. So if there's any kinds of problems that they need to work on it, it's right there at the shop. And in winter time, I don't like messing around. So I just leave it there. In summertime, I bring it home. I risk it a little bit more, bring it way out to the boonies where I live because I like to, in summertime, I like to clean out the truck. Uh, you know, spring cleaning, summer cleaning, whatnot. I want to redo the floor this summer yet very soon. I'd like to put in linoleum or, or uh, laminate or some kind of nice flooring in here that's not rug, even just rubber maybe, I don't know. Something that's watertight and easy to clean. That's why I'm thinking linoleum or uh, laminate because then you can just, you know, get down on your hands and knees, wipe it down with your hands and you got a clean floor in like two minutes. No vacuuming, you can just sweep it all right out your door. That's what I'm planning on doing uh, this summer. That's why the truck comes home with me in the summertime. I also save kilometers on my pickup truck that way. Guess what? More prairies. More. We've been driving. Dun, 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 dun. Six hours today. Still on the prairies. Got another five hours to go till the other side of the prairies. Started in Medicine Hat, like I was telling you there. We're gonna go to the yard. We're about five hours from the yard, something like that. Drop the trailer up, pull in there, and head home. Uh, we are east of Regina, Saskatchewan now. We're coming close to the Manitoba border in about an hour, I think, or so. <laughs> oh, hush, guys. I know, I'm excited to go home too. Look at that pike on the other side of the road going that way. Eh? Look at him go. Very nice, very nice. I'd like to pull one of those units just once. I wouldn't want to do it all the time. Way too much work hooking those things up every time. I guess I'm lazy. <laughs> Plus you can't go as far with those. That's the main reason. I like going everywhere. I don't like having that many restrictions on where I can go. Been a beautiful day so far. I hope tomorrow is just as beautiful at home. Maybe we can take the quad out. Practice our wheelies a little bit more, eh? Huh? That's what I'm looking forward to. Well, we're just coming up to Eli, Manitoba here, so we are 45 minutes to an hour from the yard where I'm gonna leave the trailer. Scenery hasn't really changed. Like I said, it takes about a day and a quarter, a day and a half to get across the Canadian prairies. What would you say, about 2,000 kilometers? That would be 1,200 miles, 1,300 miles across on the prairies. Just completely flat. A few little hills here and there, you know. But. Once we go through Eli here, all we gotta do is get through Headingley around Winnipeg and we're there. We'll be on our way home before you know it. Not much to show you today, guys, but you know, maybe, maybe uh, some of you like this. I don't know. This, I grew up in this, so this is boring to me. It's flat. But those of you who live in the mountains, like I just came from yesterday, this, maybe this is a little more interesting than I think. I don't know. It's just construction everywhere. Construction, construction, construction. They bumped up the speed limits on the Trans Canada through Manitoba from 100 kilometers an hour, 65 miles an hour, to 110 kilometers an hour, 70 miles an hour. It's been kind of nice, even though I can't do that. I can only do 105. What are you fixing here now? What are you fixing to do, fixing here? Fixing to do. You guys ever looking for a Timmy's? There's a Timmy's in that SO just to the left there. Oh, it's bumpy. Whoa, okay, that's what they're doing here. All right, they're fixing to fix that road there. There you go. At least I hope that's what they're doing. Nice. All right, you see the speed limit sign off to the right here, 110. Nice. The 
speed limits on the Coca-Cola Freeway from Kamloops, British Columbia, down to the mainland there. Speed limit's 120. Love it. Love it. And we're home, Sergeant. We're home, man. How's it make you feel? How's it make you feel? I'm gonna run in circles, man. You gotta be excited. I'm gonna run. Hey, here's my duck. Hey, look, my duck. You wanna see my duck? Did you miss your duck? I just got all my stuff inside here now. Diesel's in the room there eating. Cause they were both going nuts. I got them both in the house. Look, he knows where Diesel is. Oh, can Diesel come out and play now, man? Stay out of there, hey. <laughs> you two are maniacs when I first get home cause they're so excited to be home, right? So they're doing laps around everything and just knocking everything over. So I decided, nah, let need to put them back in the room. Let's put Diesel in there. He's uh, eating right now. And Sergeant, he's gonna hang out here with me. Oh, Sergeant, what's out there? What's out? You were just out there. You wanna go back out there? Of course you do. You're a dog. <laughs> I'm chasing snakes out there, I think. There's garter snakes in my backyard and he chases them, so. So it was a good day. Flat drive, prairie driving. Glad to be home. Uh, this is where I live. For those of you who are new to the channel, me and my dogs live here and I have a roommate also who rents uh, a room down the hall there. I have three bedrooms so he rents one of them and he also rents the garage because he's got a Camaro. Now I have to show you because I mentioned it so we should probably go take a look at it make sure it's okay. Hey, you stay here. You stay here. Hey, hey. Okay, fine. You gotta stay in here though. You gotta stay in here. He has no, he has no idea what I'm telling him. Okay, here's the toy the toy bin. So he rents the garage here as well, so he gets to park his Camaro in here. And then this is my quad here. He's got his dirt bike over there that he bought. And then there's my bike. I'm actually, uh, this time I'm home I believe, I'm talking to someone who's welding me something that I can take that bike with me on the road. The red one there. That's what I bought it for. It's super light and hopefully that'll work out. Oh, I can't wait to take this baby out tomorrow again. Look at him, he's smiling at me. Oh, I'm so glad you're home, man. He's so glad you're home. Oh, he's lonely. He's Camaro's a mean guy. Is Camaro being mean to you? Be nice. Sean, you gotta have a talk with your Camaro. He's being mean to my quad. Yes, I am a weird guy. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> hey, what of you bought me this shirt, remember? It's a little bit big on me. This is an extra large. I'm a large. Uh, my shirt size is large, it's an extra large. It's a bit big, but I wore it anyway today because I like it, it's got the eagles on it. And we got the Jets flag here that one of you just uh, sent to me as well. I believe the Jets flag is being hung up, up there. Right in between the, all those lights, we're gonna hang up the Winnipeg Jets flag. I am from Winni uh, near Winnipeg, Manitoba, sort of, about an hour and a half or so away. And that's where the Winnipeg Jets NHL franchise is, and that's our local team. Go Jets, go. One of these days, one of these days we're gonna take it all. One of these days. As you can tell, there's like Jet stuff all over the place. My Jets bag down there that comes with me everywhere. The Jets flag. Watch out, bud. Oh, one second here, one second. I have an intruder. Oh dear, oh man. Thanks for finding that for me, Sergeant. Good eye. I was gonna show you uh, this here I got from Cat in New Brunswick. She sent me that. I'm gonna tell my fish tank. I gotta take care of this little guy here. He's uh, crawling all over the place here. Who said you could come in my house, little guy? How'd you get in here? Oh, you st stay, stay. Where's the paper towel? Oh, does it work? Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Where'd he go? I told you to stay. Oh, great. Oh, there he is! <laughs> Moron. Oh. Oh, by the way, this vlog may contain gra graphic material. Viewer discretion advised. Spiders were harmed in the making of this vlog. Sorry. Don't judge me. Judge me if you want, I don't care. It's a free country. At least it's supposed to be a free country. Seems like it's not very free anymore because you can't... Never mind, I'm not gonna go into that. <laughs> <laughs> you all know what I'm talking about. You can't display certain things anymore uh, because it might offend some people. You can't say certain things because it might offend people. 
You can't do certain things because it might offend people. You can't draw certain things because it might offend people. When did we lose our freedom? I'm not saying I support any of the things that uh, are being banned. I'm not saying that I support that. I'm just saying, hey, even if I don't support that, it's a free country, they have the freedom to do what they want if they're not, as long as they're not hurting anybody else. If you're just offended, that does not mean that they lose their freedoms just because you're offended. That's not how freedom works. Now let's say they were shooting weapons at you, trying to kill you. Yeah, that is totally different. We should stop them from shooting bullets at you. Yeah. But if they're just displaying certain things or drawing certain things or whatever they're doing and just that certain thing seems to offend you, I'm sorry, but this is a free country. You're allowed to be offended here. A lot of things people put up offend me. Um, having a faith background, oh, every day things show up in my inbox and in my feed and down the road as I'm driving or people will say to me in passing not realizing I have a history of you know faith and whatnot. And uh, they say things to me that I'm extremely offended by. What? Well, you just said what? That actually really offends me. You know, that is my personal beliefs and you're attacking them openly. Openly! How come that's not banned? Because that's offending to me. You want to know why it's not banned? Because it's a free country. You can offend me if you want to. So what? I'm offended. It's your freedom to offend me. Rant over. Whew, just got into that there, didn't I? All right, guys, let's go say bye to Diesel. Let's close this vlog off. Diesel! I can't open your door, man. All right, get, get out of here, man. Did you do the spider check for me in there? I had a spider on the couch over there. Oh. Sergeant found him. Sergeant, don't do this. See, this is what he does. Every time I take Diesel out, Sergeant goes nuts and starts biting his face. Oh, is there ever mosquitoes in here? No, 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 no. Warning, viewer discretion is advised. <clears throat> mosquitoes were also harmed in the making of this vlog. Guys, hey, Sergeant, leave him alone. Leave him alone. Back off, leave him alone. I'm trying to vlog here. I know it's kind of dark, guys. Uh, my new camera is here. It's in the mail. I just got to go pick it up. Actually, my dad picked it up for me today. So I might even get it tomorrow. So then I'll have better low light capabilities. I'm really excited to be able to start using that new camera. I am pumped. I've been wanting it for a long time and I'm finally getting it. Sorry if my hair's all messed up, guys. I've had a hat on all day. Oh, we'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to go down below to the description, guys. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube. I'll see you tomorrow.